Another thing that comes up really frequently is how to afford an investment property. And I think this is something that is extraordinarily personal and uh, really comes down to your, your personal situation. I would say the most important thing is you want to be financially sound before you even think about purchasing an investment property. You know, when it comes to single family homes, when it comes to even multi units, just buying one increases your exposure tremendously, right? Like the most expensive thing that could possibly go wrong with a house. As soon as you buy it, that becomes your problem. So from day one, you run the risk of dramatically increasing your exposure and only increasing the income very small. The best like average cash flow of a rental ranges from 200 bucks per month to 400 bucks per month. So, you know, you have to be really careful as you're building a real estate portfolio, especially early on, that you don't unnecessarily increase your exposure because the actual cash flow generally is going to be insufficient to cover those larger exposures. So, you want to be really careful. And you want to make sure that first you're financially sound, that all of your personal finances are in order and that you, for the most part, exhibit disciplines and behaviors that allow you to save a good portion of your income because you are inevitably, as you build this portfolio, going to get a larger and larger exposure of things that you could potentially be responsible for. And then the second thing that I would say, after you make sure that you are you know, financially sound, is you really need to educate yourself and try and ward off future problems by reading an appropriate amount of literature on the front end. So you're going to want to, you know, read a decent amount of books, particularly about the type of investing that you want to do. You know, if you are interested in investing in multifamily properties, then literature on buying single family homes is likely irrelevant. You're going to want to buy, you're going to want to really educate yourself on all of the things that go into investing in multifamily and, you know, vice versa. There's tons of literature out there. You know, real estate investing is one of those things that have been around as long as people have needed places to live. So there are a ton of different people out there already investing in the asset class that is of any interest to you. So finding people that already have the portfolios that are similar to what you're looking to build for yourself, network with those people, figure out how to add value to those people and figure out how to eventually convince one of those people to be your mentor and to help you make decisions. For the entire time that I've been investing, I would say before I make any decision, there are three to four people that I'll run it by to see if I'm missing anything. Now, as I have gotten into a groove and have done this for a decent amount of times, like the amount of times that I ask questions has become more infrequent over the things I'm now comfortable doing. But when I even get the mildest sense that I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone, I will definitely consult probably too many people before I actually make a decision. So surrounding yourself with the appropriate network is also a very important component of affording your first investment property. I would say that the actual income required to purchase a rental property is one of the least important factors when it comes to affording an investment property. Because even if you have the capital, but you don't have the appropriate knowledge and you don't have appropriate network, it's just a matter of time before you make some unnecessary error that could potentially wipe out all of the cash flow and all of the equity that you've amassed as you have purchased this investment property. So be careful, educate yourself appropriately, surround yourself with people that have already achieved uh, what you desire to. And always remember that, especially when it comes to investing in real estate, there is nothing new under the sun. Someone has already done it. Someone has already dealt with that exact same problem. You do not need to reinvent the wheel. Do not let your pride get in the way and you make a senseless mistake that costs tens of thousands of dollars just because you didn't want to consult someone who has already been there and has already fixed that same issue. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, 
Click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.